For today's video, I'm going to be shooting the 30 caliber 175 grain bulldozer twos. These were sent to me uh, by one of my subscribers for testing. Uh, Badlands, I have not messed with any of the bullets yet, so I'm kind of uh, curious to see how these perform. Looking at the overall bullet, I do like how they're designed. I like that aluminum tip. So let's see how they perform in gel. I'm going to start by shooting some uh, reduced loads out of a 308, flop my blocks, shoot a 30 out 6, and then flop them again depending on the condition they're in, and shoot them one last time with a 300 PRC. did hit a little low in the gelatin and got an air reading on my chronograph but you can see it just tumbled once tumbled a second time and came out of the top of the block that did not open at all uh, tumbling bullets are very devastating they drop game but i don't prefer it myself um, but you can tell it just tumbled because of that two directional tearing right there where that bullet just flipped so let me shoot one a fair bit hotter here. definitely loaded up hotter you can see the bullet there simply because it tumbled the other direction in it is whole we did get a chronograph reading at 1457 feet per second so we're definitely getting up there to where like the cutting edge maximuses will perform and some of the hammer bullets but we still didn't get any mushroom out of this I have a couple more loaded hotter yet. Let's see what happens. They are still tumbling. I got another air reading on the chronograph, but that was the hottest one I had loaded, which should have got me over that 1600 foot per second mark. Um, I'm gonna flip these blocks, shoot out a 30 out six, then shoot one out of a 300 PRC. And with the handful I have left, I will have to do another video trying to find the bottom end of these. They obviously will not go as low in velocity and perform as cutting edge or hammer and when i say cutting edge i'm only referring to the maxis line
Not sure where that aluminum tip, uh, tip went, but where it caught the table there, it took a little chunk of rubber and filled that tip. So the aluminum tip, having enough velocity to get it break off out of the way, is still not enough to get that copper to continue doing its job. That 30 out six, it definitely uh, did what it was supposed to. Starting it opening up at about an inch and a half, carrying that better portion of the permanent wound cavity from the two and a quarter inch mark to that one kind of veered down. But we got that better portion of that permanent wound cavity just past the 17 inch mark. And we went through both blocks and into my bag for over 31 inches of total penetration. We don't quite have tears on all four sides, but the better portion of that, the larger part of that better portion of the permanent wound cavity is just under five inches. I'm just going to leave these the way they are. For now, there's a little less damage in here. I'll flip them, blow them up with the 300 PRC. We do have, now that I see I'm moving this block, pedals that broke off on that one here and here. That's probably what caused it to veer down like it did. It's just them breaking off uneven moving that block. I found a piece of that pedal up here too. So. There you can see pedals that have gone through that first block and stopped at that second. And that bullet did not come out the bottom and hit my table. There's no cuts all the way through and came out on the side of the block right there. For definitely still a good 30 inches of penetration before it exited gel. I like what that does. I wish they'd open up at a little lower velocity like some of the competitors do, but Boy, if they shoot accurately and you keep moving fast enough, these are looking like a pretty good bullet. And that one shot out of the 30-06 impact of the gel at roughly 2,926 feet per second. And it didn't destroy that block quite as good as I thought it would. And I can see pedal shed further into that second block, a lot like what that first bullet did. Um, you are torn on all sides, but I don't see a huge difference between that and the 30-06, which is not necessarily a bad thing. 
impacting the gel at roughly 3,259 feet per second. So I have a few more of these. I'm going to go ahead and uh, load a little differently for uh, another video, probably just using the 308, so we can find the bottom end of these. I'm already in that ballpark of where some of the competitors do open up and operate, uh, reading their information on their website, claiming superiority over, over everybody else's. I should have guessed it would have taken a little bit more and been more prepared and had a few more loaded hotter. Um, I just really thought they would go as low as some of their primary competitors. Overall, looks like a pretty good performing bullet. I'll pull cores out of my bags and give weight retentions in the description. Like I said, be watching for that uh, next video where we will primarily be looking at just how low can they go. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy the video.